Greetings, YouTube. Today's story comes out of Tennessee, in particular, Polk County. Um, and, I, and I'm not making this up. A person running for office uh, by the name of Rick Tyler, an independent candidate in the race for Tennessee's third congressional district seat, currently held by Chuck Fleischman, put up a sign on a billboard for his campaign that read, Make America White Again. Yep, if you'll pardon the vulgarity, I shit you not. Um, another uh, billboard depicted the White House ring with Confederate flags with the statement, I have a dream, a takeoff from the famous Martin Luther King Jr. speech. Tyler is a gift that just keeps on giving. Um, Tyler told Channel 3 he was no hatred in his heart for people of color. He says the sign's message is that America should go back to a 1960s Ozzie and Harriet leave it to Beaver time when there were no break-ins, no violent crime, and no mass immigration. Um, people called in and were unhappy about this. Tower's response, I respect the right to have an opinion. I believe the majority of people in the county like it. I saw people taking pictures beside it right after I posted it. Really? You did? You saw people taking pictures of a sign that said, Make America White Again. I, I for one, am shocked that people took pictures of that. I know I would have. Probably not for the reason that you think, Mr. Tyler. Twelve hours after the signs went up, they came back down. Now, not at Mr. Tyler's decision, but the owners of the billboard took them down. Mr. Tyler would like them put back up. And I'm sure that somehow, somebody will eventually let him do that. I'm not sure what fantasy Mr. Tyler has in his head, but this is quite possibly the worst case of golden era syndrome I have ever encountered. Believing that something existed in the past as opposed to the actual past. And as a student of history, I can tell you that we have always had violent crime. We have always had immigration. And in fact, there were times in our past when there was immigration with almost no registration at all. People just poured into the country from the north, from the south, from the coast, from everywhere. And we all survived. Now, he's going to tell you that he doesn't have any racist bone in his body. Heck, he might even think he doesn't have a racist bone in his body. But this is one of the best examples of white privilege I have ever, ever encountered. That he's really convinced that there was some golden age before all those uppity minorities started demanding, you know, to be heard and to be respected. And things were so much better for America. Well, yeah, things may have been really good for white Christian men. But for everybody else, it sucked. But since Mr. Tyler is a white Christian man, I don't think he cares about anyone else. Which speaks volumes about Mr. Tyler's character. It's 2016, and a politician put up a sign, Make America White Again. People wonder why I'm opposed to a Trump pres pre presidency? Well, there you have it. This is one of the most overtly racist things I've seen outside of the neo-Nazis or the Klan. And I'm not even sure the guy's aware of what he's done. And that's the truly terrifying part. And I don't know how you get through with something like that. And I pray these signs don't go back up. But I fear they will. We don't need to make America white again. We don't need to make America great again. We need to make better America better. Better than these signs. Better than Mr. Tyler's attitude, beliefs.
system, an inclusive society, not one based on exclusion, not one based on xenophobia and bigotry, racism, and misogyny. We can do better than this. We can do better than Mr. Tyler. So yeah, let's do that.